So we've covered a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3 mods here on the channel. Custom keyblades and weapons, mod menus, playable characters, playable quadratum, the Olympus Arena system that literally puts an arena mode into KH3 madness. But what if I were to tell you that someone has gone ahead and added in an entirely new world into the game. Travis Town, to be exact. Yes, Caleb, who is known for adding the Mysterious Tower back into Kingdom Hearts 3 via a mod, is currently working on something that is simply jaw-dropping, a total recreation of Traverse Town in Kingdom Hearts 3. The way that you access this world is how you would access any world in Kingdom Hearts via the gummy ship, meaning that there is literally a 3D model of Travis Town that floats in the gummy ship space. I keep saying this, mods just keep getting more and more impressive because it is true. We are now literally looking at an additional world for Kingdom Hearts 3 that is nothing but community created content. Uh, leave it up to the community to create DLC for this game, holy shit. If Everything you guys are seeing right here has been built from the ground up within Unreal Engine 4 due to Caleb's expertise in the engine so that we have a recreated Traverse Town in the game and it looks simply gorgeous. Now do keep in mind this is currently a work in progress and no this is not public. Uh, Caleb has kindly uh, given me a version of this mod. It's still a very early work in progress as of right now to test out and to show you guys. He's really looking forward to reading up on some feedback to see how people um, are sort of receiving this. But this is just simply gorgeous man. This really gives us a good look at what Travis Town would look like if it was officially in the game and developed by Square Enix. And this is one of the coolest things about uh, custom content for Kingdom Hearts 3. It really gives us a good idea as to, I guess, the sort of skill set that some of the people here in this community have when looking at game development like 3D modeling or coding and, and exactly what can actually be done in the ways of additional community created content for this game. I absolutely did not think we would be seeing content like this for Kingdom Hearts 3. This is one of the things that I was always excited for when looking at Kingdom Hearts coming to PC, specifically Kingdom Hearts 3, the custom mod content, but in the ways of completely new worlds, new spaces to explore, and a lot of other things that have come through. Uh, looking at the Olympus Arena mod, which is so impressive, it's like at this point, the sky is the absolute limit when it comes to custom content. Now, currently, only the first district is sort of finished. There are some things in the first district that need to be finalized and a few more additions need to be made. You might notice that one of the walls are currently missing a texture, but for the most part, it's all here and it looks simply incredible. I think Traverse Town is probably the coziest world in the sense of the vibe when it comes to Kingdom Hearts worlds. And Kingdom Hearts 1 really did a great job of capturing capturing that homely feel, that cozy vibe, even when we look towards the hardware limitations of the PlayStation 2, but I feel like now here seeing it on Unreal Engine 4, due to more realistic lighting and more realistic looking textures, uh, that feeling is enhanced even furthermore and really makes me want a Travis Town in a future Kingdom Hearts game. For the first public release of Travis Town, it is going to include just the first district, but on top of that as well, even the shops too. So yeah, you will be able to go into the accessory shop as well as the item shop and the interiors will all be there just like how you remember them in Kingdom Hearts 1, even to the point of adding NPCs as well. So there's even going to be NPCs in this mod. This really is a recreation of Travis Town. Over time though, Caleb, as well as Critic, who is known for the C mod menu, will be adding more areas to this mod to get to a point of it literally being a pretty much full-on recreation of Travis Town in Kingdom Hearts 3. So for the likes of the uh, second district, the third district, Caleb is even going as far as to add one of the Dream Drop Distance Travis Town areas into this mod as well. But it might be some time before we see all of this come together as it's taken a little while for just this first district here to be created. Keeping in mind, remember that uh, Caleb is literally going ahead and recreating all of these assets from the ground up. Uh, this isn't simple work, considering that this project has been helmed by Caleb as well as Critic. When looking at Merlin's house as well as the alleyway area, those are areas that are yet to be decided but up for consideration to be added. What's really neat though is uh, when talking about the extra Dream Drop Distance Travis Town area, that is going to be accessible 
via collecting all of the postcards. So, of course, you guys should remember how we had the postcard mini game in Kingdom Hearts 1 Travis Town, where you'd have to run around and find 10 different postcards and you could mail them in the post box. Uh, to, of course, receive some really cool items. Well, that same idea is here in the mod, and even within this version of the mod, there are a few different postcards scattered around the place, even with a pretty good-looking postcard texture, which is <laughs> hilarious. It looks like a literal postcard from Travis Town. Thought I'd just add that in there, but Caleb Critic, great work on the postcard texture here. It looks fantastic. And with like the text pop-up saying postcard obtained with the correct Kingdom Hearts font, like it just, it feels official. In this version, nothing happens if you collect the postcards other than that text pop-up. You can't mail them in the post box, but it's such a cool thing. It didn't need to be added, but it's hand on the list. I always appreciate little attention to detail pieces like this to again, make it feel convincing towards uh, this possibly being something that Square Enix would have done. I think I'm just really blown away at just how good of a job Caleb's done with recreating all of the different assets that appear in Travis Town as we know it for the mod here in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, we have those Kingdom Hearts 1 crates with the star details on it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. By the way, when looking at these crates, as well as, like, the chairs in the cafe and the chairs that are located around the first district, they all have physics, so, like, if you smack them or run into them, they're gonna tumble over. That's really cool. Nice addition. But everything is just perfect. Like, down to the accessory shop sign, even the font that's used for the item shop sign, though it is missing part of its, like, billboard with the uh, basket and, like, items and stuff. That will be added, of course. Everything is just simply one-to-one, -one. like, the lampposts as well, the positioning of, like, everything. And to think this is all recreated by Caleb is just insane to think about. This man's a fucking wizard. Even like the candles are here in the mod in the cafe area, and if you smack them, the candles extinguish, just like how they would in Kingdom Hearts 1. The strat here would be to use Blizzard to extinguish all of them, and then of course you'd get a chest that would spawn in the cafe. Uh, like, my god. Even the weird little yellow smiley face man that's outside of Sid's gummy shop is here, completely recreated, now with additional sparkles added. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, by the way, the lampposts here in the square, they work in the sense of using flow motion against them. Sora will actually spin around them. And yes, you can imagine the Traverse Town theme plays while you're in this world. They've even got the Moogle shop that is where the Moogle shop should be from Traverse Town in Dream Drop Distance. And of course, in due time, the synthesis shop where all the Moogles hang out will be added to. I think the thing that really does blow my mind though is for uh, new maps that have been added into Kingdom Hearts 3 via mods, the way that you'd access them is you'd open up a command console via the use of a mod menu and then have to write in some code in order to then load into that map. What's different here is the world is literally like a world out in the gummy ship space that you have to fly to, and it's got its own uh, 3D sort of planet model, which just blows my mind. We've never seen this kind of thing yet, so it's a first. So that right there, guys, is the Traverse Town mod. Some simply breathtaking work. Kingdom Hearts 3 modding just gets more and more and more impressive. A massive shout out to Caleb as well as Critic. You guys are doing like wizards work out here. I'm going to leave both of their Twitters in the description down below. Do be sure to go uh, check them out if you want to keep up to date with, of course, uh, stuff to do with the Kingdom Hearts 3 modding space as well as specifically this mod. However, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.